All new at 10 and only on Fox tonight, the family of a missing Buncombe County man speaking out in hopes that somebody will come forward with any information about where he is. 60 year old John Barry Hill, whose family says he goes by Shep, was last seen around two in the morning, December 3rd. He was driving that green 1998 Ford Astro van, possibly heading towards his home in the Alexander area. Well, tonight we are learning more from his family and officials about a work accident Barry Hill suffered the day before he went missing, which may have caused some cognitive impairment. Our Matt Koufax live at the Buncombe County Sheriff's Office tonight. And Matt, we know you spoke with Shep's nephew, Andrew, who actually flew up here from Houston to help coordinate this search. Just know hoping they can find him. Yeah, Tori, kind of a bizarre set of circumstances that led up to this, but a tragedy nonetheless. And it's been almost two weeks since Shep went missing. His nephew, Andy, telling me that they get more worried with every passing second. Now, Andy, the family, friends and deputies, we got an incident report from say that it's possible a head injury could have played a major role. Andy Berryhill says his uncle Shep is a self-employed carpenter who was working on a site in Asheville December 2nd when he fell on the job. They went and checked on him about 10 minutes later to find that he was uh, unconscious and below the deck that he was supposed to be working on. Buncombe County deputies who took a missing persons report on December 4th say Shep was brought to Mission Hospital where he was treated for a head injury but released the same day. He was then brought back to his car at the job site near Ridgecrest off Highway 40 and went to drive home. He got in his car and never made it there. This security camera footage we obtained of Shep driving his green 98 Ford Astro van the morning before his accident is the last time he was seen near his home off Fletcher Martin Road in the Alexander area. Somewhere between Asheville and Alexander, he vanished. I'm sincerely worried about his health. That, that's my mentality. He's family, my uncle, and he. I, I see that the effect that this has had on my dad and um, it's not good. Andy himself flew in from Houston to help spearhead a search effort of more than two dozen people. I greatly appreciate the volume of people who have come out in support of Shep. I think he has more friends than he realizes. An incident report from Buncombe County says Shep also had injuries to his ear and ribs, including lacerations from the fall. Andy says whatever his uncle's state of mind was, he wishes he'd never have been allowed to get into his car. I sincerely hope that the result of all this effort is that he's alive and well enough to recover. Andy says he is going to be here throughout this week, at least possibly even through next week as well to help coordinate that search. He says it will be conducted by he and friends and all those who are hoping that his uncle is okay. If you have any information, you are encouraged to reach out to the Buncombe County Sheriff's Office here in Asheville. Live in Asheville tonight, Matt Koufax, Fox Carolina, the 10 o'clock news.